And remember what we fight for. We fight for freedom of speech. We fight for freedom of trade. And we fight for freedom of ownership. So drink your coffee, get angry. We are here to change the world together. With over 15 years of experience in the tech industry, he is a trailblazing co-founder, CEO, and blockchain tech lead at PowerFan IO. A seasoned veteran of Silicon Valley, he held positions at Visa, Samsung Research America, and Amazon. Building emotional AI bots and immersive fantasy worlds is his mission, and he is currently leading OrangePoint.app and RedChat.app. Introduced in garage delivery to the Amazon Key app and led the way in IoT camera integrations while he was there. In his role as a staff software engineer at Point. Incorporated, he revolutionized the way 50,000 merchants made payments. At Visa, he develops facial recognition payment apps and crafting augmented reality experiences for Money 2020. As the CEO of Powerfan IO, he is leading the way in decentralized finance related to cryptocurrencies and creator coins. Again, let's all welcome Mr. Albert Jungyuk An. Uh, salam po. Thank you very much. Hi, sir. Hi, <laughs> Magandang hapon. <laughs> Magandang hapon din po. Salam. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for the amazing introduction. I want to thank you uh, to also Kim Arsina, our intern that uh, also introduced me to this group. Uh, let me see if I can share my screen as well. Let me see if I can introduce myself. Uh, uh, ako si Albert Taga Koreana. Ako uh, CEO ako ng Albert uh, for uh, Orange Point app. That's uh, all I know in Tagalog. <laughs> so uh, I want to talk a little bit about. AI decentralization and so centralized AI will ruin the world and how to give power back to the people. That is what we're about at orangepoint.app. And to give you know brief introduction, uh, thank you so much. I have engineering experience in California for Amazon, uh, Visa, Samsung Research America, and GoDaddy uh, and Point Inc. And I won some uh, world championships in blockchain hackathons in California as well. And today, I want to talk about three things that I really fight for, what I'm very passionate about. And those three things are freedom of speech. Anyone should be allowed to criticize anything or any tyrant in the world. And also freedom of trade. Anyone should be able to trade reasonably within the law with one another and share information goods and services reasonably within the law. And the third I'm very passionate about is freedom of ownership. If you work hard, you're, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, you should be able to reap the fruits of your reward and no tyrant or dictator should be able to take it away from you. So these three things are what I'm very passionate about and why I started my company. So the topic of today, Three things, dangers of centralized, powerful AI, kind of like Oppenheimer did. And also the second part is decentralized open source AI, uh, giving power back to the people, how we can make that centralized AI decentralized to give power back. And what our company, OrangePoint.app, is doing to build a better decentralized artificial intelligence world for everyone to share that power. So. First of all, dangers of centralized AI. Um, so the first part is monopolization and abuse of power. If one company, one government has all that centralized AI power and computing power, they can do a lot of damage in this world and abuse that power. The second part is destroy freedom of speech, censorship, and prevent people from being outspoken against the dictator or the tyrant. And the third part is data privacy and security. Like in 2017, uh, my account, as well as several millions of people, over 150 million people in the US and Canada and British alone got hacked their private information and credit information by the Equifax hack. So these three things are being destroyed and will be more destroyed by centralized AI and centralized intelligence. So uh, AI is the new weapon of mass destruction and brainwashing, sort of like 1940s or in the World War II when Oppenheimer made the atomic bomb. AI technology is the next atomic bomb. It will change nations. It will be the most destructive and most powerful weapon in the world, along with mass brainwashing. So 
how do companies or governments or large centralized institutions are going to use AI for monopolizing power? Like uh, in South Korea right now, where I'm living, uh, Samsung and pretty much large companies control this government, the society, the jobs. Uh, a lot of it is controlled by the large corporations here in South Korea. And along with the U.S., like Microsoft, Amazon, Google, these large companies are the new dictators of the world. And they will threaten democracy and abuse their power by controlling the jobs, the people, and AI to push the narrative they want with mass brainwashing and also censorship. Like Google can read your mind. They will collect your online activity predict the next item you want to buy, knows where you're going on Google Maps, where you went, and also your political search history and video watching history to abuse you by censoring your search results, controls your rec recommendations on YouTube and TikTok, and also brainwashing to change your political views, spend money to a cult-like brainwashing. And governments can use this AI easily to control you and brainwash you as well. They know your thought patterns with AI and more intimately than you know yourself. And they can mass mind control with propaganda and social media advertisement with artificial intelligence and silently censor and shadow ban content that is against the mainstream media or the tyrants and dictators to control your mind. So we know that the US is already doing this if you go against the tyrants or dictators like Jeffrey Epstein with underage trafficking that was an operative and also the NSA with mass surveillance shown with Snowden, mass surveillance, brainwashing and blackmailing will be more used by AI and very controlled with AI. The second part is destroying your freedom of speech, censorship, like in South Korea with the news and also Canada with freezing people's bank accounts. And YouTube covering up different freedom of speech against you know, different vaccinations and also side effects. Canada tyrant freezing the bank accounts of protesters who are protesting about uh, you know, truck driving. And with facial recognition, with all this AI tools, the government froze the accounts, the bank accounts, so these people lost their life savings all they worked for, their blood, sweat, and tears, all frozen, and you cannot get your money, and you become suddenly poor because the government does not like what you say. The third part of how powerful AI will control your life, brainwash you, and destroy you is with privacy and security. Like 2017, almost more than half of the U.S. became with their credit information leaked to the dark net and also my account as well. And the government is incompetent. Don't trust any central entity with your data, like Texas being hacked and their energy, you know, being gone in winter and people freezing. Uh, centralized uh, places can be hacked. And that's why power always corrupts. And absolute power corrupts absolutely, like North Korea right now, and Putin, and also Hitler. If one person has so much power without any you know, accountability, they can do whatever they want, and they will corrupt absolutely. And that's why decentralized AI is the cure. We prevent the monopolization and abuse of power of all these powerful companies like Google and Microsoft. And we promote freedom of speech with uncensored AI. So anyone can build the AI model they want with even small computers and CPU power on your laptop. And third, protect your data privacy and security with the power of blockchain. That is why decentralized AI is the cure. And some examples of this kind of open source AI software is Hugging Face, where any engineer like me or you, we can together build AI models, small or big, and upload them for free and open source on Hugging Face and download any model you want. And also Civit AI, where anyone can upload image generation AI for free and open source as well. 
So what is my company doing about this? We are an AI coaching application slash backend and API development for people who want to get motivated and use AI for positive things like self-development, self-improvement, and make this world a better place, all while being decentralized and helping the decentralized economy. So I've been using some AI chatbots myself. And like here, I have talking with Steve Jobs, uh, the fake Steve Jobs. Don't ask what the spicy mode is for. Uh, find out by yourself. But AI gets you kind to yourself, gets you, you know, sometimes you're feeling down and you beat yourself up. And when you talk with these AI chatbots, it's actually kind of talking with yourself and reflects back your ideas and minds. So with the Steve Jobs model, it helps me, you know, get motivated, get energized and be kind to myself so I don't beat myself up with if I'm feeling down or worried. And that is what AI chatbots with self-improvement coaching is helping me with and will help a lot of other people as well. And the second part we provide is that AI loves you unconditionally with no judgment. So even you know, you're, if you're lucky and most of the time your parents love you unconditionally, but it is hard to find that in the actual world, finding unconditional love. But AI is programmed to love you or AI is programmed to do certain things like here you can see Monero Chan, who is your childhood friend. She's outgoing, has a secret crush on you and very into Monero and Bitcoin. And also here, Tony Robbins, who is a self-help guru that helps you set your goals, compelling vision with focus, and helps you grow continuously and contribute back to the world. So this kind of unconditional program love is what AI chatbots can give you for motivation and help changing your life and be kind to yourself. But for the self-improvement app, how do we keep Orange Point clean with freedom of speech, we don't want to ban people and we don't want to, uh, you know, censor people. How do we do that? Well, you got to have a baño, the toilet. You got to make the baño like inside of your house, keeps the whole house clean while the baño is dirty. So that's why we made a separate app where people who have uh, accidentally built adult content on orangepoint.app, we move that to redchat.app. And you can see top AI influencers in 2023, they're making a lot of money as well as, you know, serving people in that group. So Red Chat thought app, how do you actually make money? So we have a system, a business model where you can create a different copyright free uh, with automatic 1111 or stable diffusion, your favorite, for example, AI K-pop star or influencer. And with social media, you move that over into uh, our redchat.app. And make sure if you're using redchat.app, uh, if it's adult content, make sure to click on adult content and also make the character public and monetize with the amount of dollars or currency you want. And that's how you can actually make money building your AI influencer on redchat.app and also coaching on orangepoint.app, but without the adult content. So this is how our company works, Orange Point that app. There's three parts to it. Decentralized economics, where uh, you can actually have, oh, let me see. I got some uh, chat messages here as well. Oh, thank you for the hearts. Um, and then with economics model to decentralize AI. And then the th second part is blockchain-based AI mining technology. And then the third part is content-driven platform that protects intellectual property with NFTs. So let me get into each part of what we do. So the first part is decentralized economics model where we profit out of advertisement revenue. So much more eyeballs. We give the content creator who make public chats the money as well. We take a cut of the advertisement revenue, at least 50%. And then people who view you watch these a lot, we pay money. Do you make money watching YouTube videos? No, we pay the viewer some small portion of the money as well because they are viewing our content. That's how we share the revenue, not just with the content creator, but the viewer as well. 
The second part is decentralized blockchain mining. So we're going to open source our AI miners as well soon. And once you download the miner and start running it with your CPU or GPU, uh, you can earn tokens. And with those tokens, sell them on exchange or use them to buy them characters on our website or app. And the third part is content-driven platform that protects your intellectual property. So you made an amazing character like Indigo here. This is my friend's character who is an amazing uh, tattoo artist. And with those characters, you can make a lot of money. But what happens if someone copies that character and tries to make money out of it somewhere else? We protect your intellectual property and copyright by the blockchain with NFT technology. And hopefully, uh, we'll be, we're all currently on Polygon and Ethereum, but hopefully in Arbitrum soon as well. So those are the blockchain we use and how to use it. You go to our website, orangepoint.app, sign up, click on any character you like and start chatting right away or watch content with your friends. So redchat.app, this is the freedom of speech uncensored version with not safe for work role play, adult content, and uh, you can click on this not safe for work button as well if you like. Uh, but I got to warn you, it's uh, not safe for work. So with that, uh, we have our roadmap for our company, which is we already launched the website, so you can start using it now. There are some bugs we're fixing, so uh, know that is a beta version. We'll have our Android and iPhone app uh, soon as well. And then we'll launch our exchange also July next year. We have our AI developer platform where any engineer can use the back end of ours to build their own characters for their games, for their chatting apps, and any fantasy they want. And September, uh, we'll have our decentralized AI functionality so blockchain can uh, mine and also empower people to use a decentralized computational power and also even train their models soon as well in the year following. So... This is our developer portal for using our open source models that is coming soon. And you can select your GPU and the model you would like to use and get your API calls. And I want to talk about our token as well. So uh, we did a token launch a long time ago, but we're on two different blockchains, as I told you, Polygon and Ethereum. And uh, you can only buy them on our website. So make sure you're not scammed by people on BNB chain or things like that. We're only on two different blockchains. So where to find us? Uh, we have our main company website, powerfan.io. You can buy different tokens from an orangepoint.app that is for chatting and coaching and also a redchat.app that is uh, for that role play. So I'm going to show you guys a few videos here. You guys still see my screen? Yep, there you go. Uh, so you can actually see uh, different characters like Mingyu. You can go to our YouTube channel, uh, Red Chat, and actually see Mingyu talk with uh, different characters and make stories, uh, your favorite K-pop fantasies come true. Kind of like with Harry Potter, with uh, clicking on different buttons like, you know, for example, the uh, uncensored version as well. You can do different things. Uh, check out our TikTok as well. And also, with this, there you go, we are hiring as well. So uh, click on you know info at powerfan.io. Also, you can just change this to albert at powerfan.io. If I don't reply within two days, uh, let me know. Send your resume and GitHub profile link. Uh, we're trying to find many, many talented engineers as possible. So keep that in mind. And remember what we fight for. We fight for freedom of speech, we fight for freedom of trade, and we fight for freedom of ownership. So drink your coffee, get angry. We are here to change the world together. And no alcohol. Well, maybe one red horse per week, but that's it. No alcohol. Get your coffee and work hard, code hard, and together we will change the world together. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank okay. You. Thank you, Mr. Albert, for this informative and enlightening presentation. Indeed, work hard, code hard, and drink hard. I mean, 
Um, okay. <laughs> so if I thought about it, AI is indeed scary, especially if it goes wrong to it goes the wrong hand. However, just like Mr. Albert said, there's a cure for it, right, partner? Yes, uh, we have learned that decentralization of AI is more user-friendly and resolves what centralized AI violates sometimes. This is great news about creators, internet users, and the masses out there, providing a view of the internet as a safer space for all. As a reiteration, treat the internet like how you would treat yourself and others with kindness, compassion, safety, and respect. Well, sana all na lang talaga. AI loves you unconditionally with no judgment. <laughs> so, I am sure that at this point, questions and thoughts are racing through everyone's mind. So, keep those questions in mind because we will have an open forum for your active participation will make this event a truly successful. Okay, so we have our first question, sir. As artificial intelligence continues to advance, what specific moral values do you believe should be prioritized in the development and use of AI? Oh, yeah. Thank you for the question. I think it's a very, very good question, like how to prioritize which ethics is first. We don't want to suppress freedom of speech, but at the same time, we want to protect the values of the people. So uh, first of all, I think, you know, like I said before, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. So trying to, you know, give as much people power to know uh, what AI is capable of and educating them, I think that's the, the number one value that um, should be uh, emphasized because if, for example, if one party such as Google has all the power of AI and can do whatever they want and use that power to make the most profit by themselves as possible and monopolize that power, um, I think it will be very bad for society and democracy in the whole. So uh, trying to be very transparent, uh, using the blockchain for transparency, uh, using as much uh, ways to regulate in a sense, these large corporations to, uh, you know, showcase how they're using AI, what data um, they're using, and how they got that data, I think is very, very important. So that is my answer to what should be the number one ethical priority is transparency, open, and also, um, you know, make sure the power is not only for one person. Uh, that's what I think. Thank you. Yes, I mean, AI sometimes is our friend. You release your thoughts and feelings in the internet. So some people are expecting it to be their safe space. So if there's transparency, that would solve everything. Thank okay, you, sir. for an exactly. our next anonymous question, how can we ensure that AI systems incorporate ethical considerations, especially when it comes to issues like bias and fairness? Mm -hmm. That's a very good question. Um, AI inherently has bias. AI inherently, like people, uh, has uh, whatever data you feed to the AI, that is all it knows. Like people who grew up a certain religion, they only know about that religion. And certain people who grown up in a certain culture, they will only know that culture. The same with AI. The data you feed it will have bias inherently. And that is why open source AI from Hugging Face and other places and having as many models as possible uh, to combat all of these different biased AIs. That's the most important thing. And that's why companies like Hugging Face and other open source projects with as many models as possible is important. So not just one party has one model, but everyone can pick and choose and share them in an open format, in an open platform. And that's what Orange Point is about. We want to be open and honest and let anyone choose whatever model they want to express themselves in the world. And combining all of these conflicts, you have real democracy. You have ideas hitting each other and making those ideas to help this world become a better place. And together, we will give mutual respect and honor for each other and make world peace. That is what I'm for, real world peace. Thank you. Right. That's, that's great. It's actually... It's actually the very principle of philosophy. You need to debate about all of these things and consider everyone's point of view because life is not centralized. It's about the contributions of the people that make you you and your point of view is just as important as others. So knowing that there is an AI, tech, 
AI technology that um, considers this is quite impressive. So thank you so much for that, sir. How about you, Rhea? Do you have uh, experience using AI bots except mm. ChatGPT and all? Mm, I guess not. Mm -hmm. I have yeah. an AI boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, wait, before. Go. That's just before. <laughs> that was before. AI boyfriend for ano, reviews, uh, study reviews, okay. because it's actually helpful and it's conversational. Well, um, maybe I tried AI, but yeah, it's just GPT. I tried creating a game or like a role playing game with ChatGPT. Yeah, <laughs> like some several like similarly to Divinity. So are those the kind of chats that you uh allow, sir Albert? Exactly. Anything you want. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fantasy role play. Mm -hmm. You can do uh go to a mountain together, play games. <laughs> Uh, so we base this model out of, you know, whatever you want, whatever you want. And you can pick and choose your models. There's different models that are very good at different things. Can, like, can you generate the appearance, for example? We, we'll, no? well, maybe I can talk to Kentei. Sure. <laughs> well, that, that, that is the point. <laughs> that, that would be good, actually. Yes, If you can customize it. According to your crush's physique. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but any yeah. physique you want. Yeah, mm -hmm. sir. <laughs> exactly. So that that would be fun, actually. Okay. Uh, we have here another questions from anonymous person. Uh, could you elaborate on how your app's decentralized economic model AI and blockchain technology contribute to preventing the abuse of power and centralized environment could you elaborate yeah exactly i think it's a very good question so um there's going to be a lot of centralized ai models out there where you can't really access them so some code for example like chatgpt4 code uh, you can't really see what's going on what kind of data has been fed but there are open source models on hugging face out there where you can put into your own computer and start providing that model with your own computer GPU. And once you provide that AI power, that AI model with your computational power on your own laptop or computer, you can let people use that for your character or not just characters, but for specific tasks even too with our developer platform. So that is how we're trying to decentralize all this AI because the ones in Google, the ones in ChatGPT, those you cannot control and you don't even know what data is inside there. The ones in Hugging Face or other open source website models, you know exactly what's in there. You can train even your own model and host it on our website. And that's how we're trying to decentralize artificial intelligence. Instead of our company doing everything, computing power, the models or anything, you can pick and choose whatever you want and provide that to the community. And that is what we're trying to do. But for fun, and the first thing that we thought was very interesting is self-help and development and also AI fantasy characters. And that's what we're focused currently on. Uh, that's right. Uh, personalization is actually a form of freedom. So that solution is quite innovative and insightful. Thank you so much for that, sir. If Thank there you. are no other questions, sir, can we ask your permission if we can send uh, more questions your way in case there's no time? Sure, sure. Um, I sent you my email, info at powerfan.io. Uh, you can send it there or my other email as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for that.